Once upon a time, in a quiet village among the mountains, there lived a young man named Alex. His mind was always busy like a river flowing with thoughts and worries that never seemed to stop. This inner commotion cast a shadow over everything in his life. Alex really wanted to find a way to control his negative emotion and calm his mind and discover peace amid all the chaos. One day, Alex heard stories about an old monk who lived on a faraway mountain. This monk was known for being very wise and could help people find inner peace. These stories intrigued Alex, so he decided to journey to the mountaintop to meet the monk and learn the secret to finding peace within himself. The journey was tough, with steep paths and winding trails that seemed to go on forever. But Alex didn't give up. He kept going, driven by his strong determination. After many days of traveling, he finally reached the temple where the old monk lived. The monk welcomed him with a calm and understanding smile. I've come to learn from you. Alex said with a respectful bow. I want to know how to control my negative emotions and calm my mind so I can find peace inside. Can you teach me? The monk's eyes twinkled, as if he understood Alex's heart without needing words. Let's talk about how to control our negative emotions in our mind. Our mind tends to lean towards negative thoughts like anger, desire, jealousy, and resentment. Supreme Monk's gradual training helps us practice controlling these. So first and foremost before getting into these steps, there is one thing that you have to practice and master it, and that is awareness. If you are not aware and mindful about what you're thinking then you cannot control it, so you have to totally understand, and you have to totally be aware of what you're thinking, then you will have that power to control it. The monk suggests that when you notice your mind thinking negative things like anger, wanting things badly, feeling mad at someone, or being envious, the first step is to change your thinking to something positive. There are good thoughts in your mind that bring calmness. For instance, recalling a time when you helped someone can make your mind feel content and peaceful. So, the idea is that when you realize you're thinking negatively, you should switch your thoughts to positive and soothing ones. This is the primary advice from Monk. Change your thoughts to better ones. If the first step doesn't succeed, the next thing to do is to consider the problems that come with having negative thoughts. The second step in the process is that if you find yourself constantly thinking angry thoughts, it's important to recognize that these thoughts can harm both you and others. If you act based on these thoughts, it will cause harm as well. Remember, even a small angry thought can grow into something destructive. So, what should you do? Start by reflecting on the downsides or disadvantages of entertaining these negative thoughts. Once you recognize these drawbacks, your mind will naturally start avoiding them. Many times, we aren't aware of these downsides. So, your task is to realize that continuing to dwell on negative thoughts won't be helpful. It will disturb your peace of mind. In the third step, the monk advises not to focus too much on thoughts. If the second step doesn't work, try this one. When we pay too much attention to a thought, like anger, it grows. Instead, let the thought be without too much focus. Like with babies, if we don't make a fuss, thoughts lose power and fade away. This approach helps us gain control over our minds and emotions. If we don't make a big deal out of them, if we don't give them too much importance, they will lose their power and disappear from our minds. This is one way to handle them. If the third step doesn't seem to be working, the monk suggests trying the fourth step. To ease your thinking, keep in mind, when negative thoughts fill your mind, it becomes busy, rough, and scattered. So, what can you do? You start by asking yourself, why am I tangled in these distracting and negative thoughts? They're keeping me busy and unfocused. Then, you shift your focus towards something gentle and delicate. You could think of kindness, compassion, or gratitude. As you introduce these positive thoughts, your mind and thinking become much calmer and more peaceful. With a friendly smile, the monk softly advised Alex to follow these four steps. By practicing them, Alex will begin to notice that his negative feelings are slowly diminishing. The monk emphasized that this change won't occur overnight. 
It will require a significant amount of time and consistent effort. Alex should persistently practice and make it a part of his routine. Eventually, he will become skilled at it and transform his mind into a place without negative thoughts. If you have gained value from this video, give it a like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.